What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your man Chaz Ellis once again. And a lot of ladies ask me why a guy is acting a certain way. Why is he doing this? Why is he doing that? And a lot of times it's because a person just doesn't like you. But every once in a while, it's because the person actually likes you a bit too much and actually thinks that you are too good for them. Now, I don't want you guys to think this is a catch-all. I'm not here to butter you up. I'm not here to try to kiss your butt and give you answers that you're going to look at and go, oh, yeah, this makes me feel so great. I'm here to keep it real with you. So in most cases, this is not the situation. But sometimes the guy does actually feel that you are too good for him or that he is inadequate. And here are five signs that that is the situation. Number one, cheating accusations. When a person is constantly accusing you of infidelity and you haven't done anything, it's generally not because they don't really trust you because of you. It's because they feel like they're not good enough for you and clearly you should want someone else. Normally they feel like if you get a chance to be around somebody else, talk to somebody else, sit with somebody else, whatever, you are going to choose up you are going to pick somebody better than them. And that is the reason why they consistently accuse you of cheating. Because they just know that they're not good enough or they feel they're not good enough and that they shouldn't be in a relationship with you in the first place and they don't want somebody to take their lucky or winning lottery ticket. Number two, jealous of exes. They're constantly going to be jealous of the people you dated in the past because they think those people are better than them. They think you're going to want to get back with those people because they feel inadequate. When you're with somebody who doesn't feel good about themselves and you say, oh, yeah, the last person I dated was this guy. They're going to be looking at that person like, oh, man, he's better looking than me. Oh, man, he got a better job than me. Oh, man, I know his dick bigger than mine. Why, Lord, why? They don't like themselves. They don't feel good about themselves. So at the end of the day, they're always going to figure that anything you had before is better than them. So you could be talking about somebody, it don't even have to be in a positive way. You could just not even really be talking about the person. The person could walk by and a friend of yours could say, hey, ain't that the dude you used to date? And they just get so pissed off because they're thinking to themselves, I know she wishes she could be back with him again. You didn't have to say anything. You didn't have to do anything. It's already in their head. When you see somebody acting like this, it's usually a sign that they just don't feel like they're good enough for you. And there's not going to be anything you could do to talk them out of it or reassure them because it's internal. They don't feel good enough. Number three, hating. When someone is hating on you, when someone is hating on their own girl, this is usually a sign that they don't feel good about themselves and they don't feel good about their status in the relationship. Because it's not natural for a man to hate on his girl. He may hate on everybody else, but what the hell has he got a reason to hate on his girl for if he feels good about himself? Normally, if a guy is feeling pretty good about himself, he is going to elevate his girl to a higher status because it elevates him or it makes him feel like, hey, I got somebody of equal value to me or I got somebody who's really good. So look, this is, the, this is the type of person I'm supposed to get with. When you got somebody that's constantly hating on you, calling you ugly, diminishing your accomplishments, just trying to find different ways to shoot holes in you as a person, that's not usually because that person thinks you're unattractive or thinks you're not good enough. Normally when somebody doesn't think that you're attractive or doesn't think that you're good enough, they're not gonna say negative things about you as much as they are going to just ignore the fact and treat you like crap. No, in these kind of situations, what happens is the person is trying to break you down so that you feel like you are on their level. A lot of times they're trying to make you feel bad about yourself so you don't see that you're really too good to be in a relationship with them. Some of this hating could even be physical. Sometimes a person being a hater like this could even turn into them being physically abusive towards you, trying to knock you down physically sometime to try to show you that you're not good, you're not better than them, you're not as good as you might think you are, or even as good as they think you are. 
they know what you're about. They know what you are. They know what you're capable of. And the only way that they feel that they can control you or they can keep you with them is to try to make you feel like you're less than or try to keep you as low as they possibly can. And when I say hating, they'll do it in any kind of way. It may be just talking about you. It may be talking about your looks. It may be just trying to ignore your accomplishments and ignore anything you're doing. And it may even, like I said, become physical. When you see these signs, you really want to kind of get out of there because it could get dangerous. Number four, cheating. Now, I'm not saying, I know somebody's going to put this in the comment section no matter what I say, but I'm not saying that every cheating scenario is about the guy thinking he's not good enough. I'm not saying that. I'm saying in this case, with other things that you could put together, this can be a big sign. Because a lot of times what a person will do, if they don't feel like they're good enough, and sometimes you may actually be contributing to this, I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm not here to try to make you feel good or try to sugarcoat things. I'm going to keep it real. Sometimes you could be contributing to this. Because what a person will often do is if they don't feel like they're good enough for you, they'll try to find somebody that they're good enough for. Sometimes you might hold back praise or you might not give positive reinforcement and they look for that positive reinforcement from somebody else. Sometimes a person just doesn't feel good about themselves and they're looking for people to validate them and make them feel good. Maybe you got a promotion at, their, at your job and they got cut back on their hours at their job. So when they come to the house, they feel like they're just not good enough. They feel like they're broke, even if you haven't said anything about it. So they go try to find somebody who makes them feel good about what they have. Now they might go get a chick that doesn't have a job or a chick that, you know, needs financial help. So what they do have seems big to her. It could be a situation like that. You may have talked about their looks or you may have, you may just seem like you get better looking dudes than them. And they might go find somebody who will find them more attractive. Sometimes that's just how it is. And, you know, for fellas, y'all y'all can watch this also because women are cheap for the same reason a lot of times. A lot of times they don't feel like they're getting that positive reinforcement at home or they don't feel like you're treating them as if they're, you know, putting them on that pedestal that they want to be on. So they find somebody who will. That's kind of how it works with guys too. I know people don't talk about that with guys as much because it's easy to be like, oh, men are dogs. They don't have no emotional reasons for why they do anything. But sometimes they do. Sometimes a dude is cheating because he really doesn't feel like he's being made to feel good about himself. And he's looking for somebody who will make him feel better. That isn't that sometimes that's on you and some stuff that you're doing. And if it is, you can look at that. If not, you know, sometimes you're just dealing with somebody with low self-esteem and that's just how it manifests itself. Number five, bragging. I'm not saying that everybody who brags feels like they're less than. I know people try to say that all the time. Some people just brag because they really think they're all that and they just want to show everybody. That's their thing. Whatever. But when, when you're dealing with somebody who doesn't think that they're good enough, what you can see with the bragging a lot of times is the bragging is also like designed to try to one-up you. Like you may tell them some kind of a story about some things that you're doing, or you might talk about things that you got going on, and then they always try to one-up it. Oh, really? You got a promotion at your job? Well, yeah, they tell you they're going to make me president tomorrow. You know, something like that. It may not even be true, the things that they're saying, but they're always trying to figure out how to one-up. They're always trying to figure out how to show you that they actually are really great because it they don't feel like they're good enough. So what they try to do is they try to create this false persona to make it seem like they're better than they really are. Now, like I said, some people, they do that just because that's just who they are. They do that with everybody. But... In a relationship situation, you might be dealing with somebody who really just doesn't feel like they're really adequate or they're good enough to be in a relationship with you. And when they don't feel that way, a lot of times what they'll do is they'll try to figure out how to create something that makes you believe that they're better than they really are. This could be kind of problematic because when you're dealing with somebody who does that, if you call them on some of the stuff that they're saying, they get all pissed off and they don't want to hang out with you anymore. Or... It could become a situation where, like I said about the bragging, that could really turn to hating. You know, they could go from bragging, bragging, bragging and trying to put themselves up to where putting themselves up is no longer good enough. And now they got to start trying to put you down. So the bragging can really be a lot of times just by itself is not really that bad or that big of a deal, but it can turn into hating. Now, I'm going to keep it real with you. When you're dealing with somebody who's like this, I say you 
I don't usually like to tell somebody to break up with somebody, but I say you need to get some help for that situation or you probably need to get out because this can actually be the most dangerous person in the world to deal with. All jokes aside, you know I laugh and joke a lot, but all jokes aside, this could be the most dangerous person in the world to deal with because when you're dealing with somebody who is actually, for all intents and purposes, jealous of you, they will do anything, anything. They'll do anything to try to keep you. They'll do anything to try to bring you down. They'll do anything to try to own and possess because at the end of the day, they don't think they're good enough. They think you're going to be looking for somebody better and whatever they need to do to either knock you down or make it to maybe where you don't even exist, they may be willing to do. I'm not saying everybody who feels this way will do that, but I'm saying this is where it can go. A lot of times people turn really, really mean when they become afraid of losing something that they care about. And that's serious business. All right, hopefully I was able to help you out. Once again, it's your man, Chaz Ellis. Make sure you like and subscribe. Also, if you need some extra help, um, you need a consultation detailed question, or you want me to check out your profile, go to the ChazEllisProject.com. I also got premium content that goes in depth on a lot of things that I touch on on this channel. It's your man, Chaz Ellis. Peace.